When I started in radio, I was amazed how I was able to talk to truckers going down um, uh, like a freeway in Florida. And uh, from, you know, the very basic beginning, I was, that started my fascination radio. And back then there was a whole move to taking hardware radio and trying to implement it as much as possible in software. And the nice thing about that was that you could combine a whole load of radio devices into one small package and then because it's software you can upgrade it very easily very quickly and you, you have a lot of control over it but we take it a step further because it's in software you have the ability to change just about all the features of the different uh, transceiver systems and if you combine that with intelligence make intelligent decisions you can do that in a way that combats problems like uh, in, in wireless communications unreliability and links um, reacting to user behaviour, uh, reacting to different events during the time of the day. The key thing is that license exam spectrum is a, is a huge part of the mix um, for the, the future technologies coming out. And what we do is uh, we add, we allow people to do use the license exam, spe uh, license exam spectrum, but instead of the current case where you're um, you're at the, the you're affected by third-party users who can interfere with you. We add the robustness to that so we can make sure that you can use license exam spectrum, that you, you can be assured you have a robust communications link and that if any events happen that may require some intervention, they can be all be handled automatically. One example, like in Texas, it costs about $15 per herd of population to um, get a license for a dedicated license that only allows you to use this spectrum, this lab quality, and there's nobody else uh, can interfere with you. But if you can combine the low cost of license exams, or in most cases for nothing, and the robustness, you're in a very interesting area. And that's what we're doing. So one of the first products we're, we're looking at, we're going to service trial right now, is looking at that exact thing. So can we, we want to demonstrate that using the license exam spectrum, that it's going to be very robust, it's going to handle whatever events happen to it. On the top level, the subscribers are, are not aware, of, they don't have to deal with any of the complexity, they just come to rely on it. And it reduces a, a lot of the problems like customer uh, service calls, um, unreliability, and the, the perception that wireless is still um, a little bit, uh, for want of a better word, flaky. The users it tend to be the, the, the big corporations rolling out devices, so we're talking about equipment vendors and then further up the chain the network operators. So there's the, the likes of Motorola, Philips, um, a company called Share Spectrum Company, some smaller startups in the US, all developing equipment to access that, that particular spectrum. And then it's up to the, it, the, the, the next part of that comes on the operators and they're looking to how do we get this out to consumers, so how do we complete this chain. So the, the operators may include the likes of Altel, you have uh, Vodafone and Meteor here. We have two opportunities here. In terms of commercial app uh, applications, the vendor is stuck currently with their existing hardware and they can come to a dead end where they say we cannot create any more value from that. But what we can do is we can couple that with software to create avenues for new applications with that. However, they are stuck with the problems with unreliability, increased demands on their customer support side. So if they can access this with the, with, and, and have the benefits of reliability and robustness, it's a big win from them. Now, you know, we're dealing with the, the high-end wireless communications market. There's a huge demand already for wireless uh, connectivity, huge demand of wireless devices out there. And that's growing every time. In fact, the communications, wireless communications market is, is worth over about a trillion dollars and growing. The, our, we're focused on the US and we, we were going to do a test and trial in Ireland because we, we have a favourable regulatory regime with help of Comreg. But we can demonstrate all this value and then we can hit the, the US. And uh, you know, from the US, look at, at more uh, Asia, um, uh, further afield.